Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Designer's Fountain Smart LED Outdoor Wall Lantern Sconce in Medium Black. Here is my color changing Smart LED Outdoor Light Fixture that promises to bring fun and convenience into my home. The fun will begin when I open the box as this light fixture connects to my Wi-Fi with no hub required. I can control my light with the Wiz app on my smartphone or with a voice activated device from Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Siri Shortcuts, or the IF Triple T app. I can schedule this light to come on and off at certain times of the day or to be triggered by detecting my phone when I get close to my house. I can even set this ceiling light up to turn on and flash my team's colors when they score. I can choose from preloaded scenes such as fall, relax, wake, or party modes. I can also create my own fun scenes by choosing from the digital palette of 16 million colors and 64,000 shades of white. I don't have to install an LED rated dimmer on my wall. This light dims with my phone or by using my other voice controlled devices. The cloud based Wiz app gives me the flexibility to have multiple people control my lights and I can set up guest control for specific periods of time. This LED outdoor light offers all the fun and convenience of today's advanced smart home lighting technology. Inside the box the lamp is packaged in a styrofoam shell. Here's the mounting hardware for the lamp. And there's the lamp and the sconce. This is the LED lamp portion. Very well finished. Hot, neutral, and ground. This is what you'll be connecting to your AC line. And here is the glass diffuser. Once again, it is well packaged with a interior styrofoam tube. The glass is clean from scratches and or deformities. I've decided to build my own mounting bracket for the designer's fountain lamp. This required me to disassemble the lamp and use its bottom plate to mark and drill the holes that you see me using here. And of course the finished product should be presentable. So I painted it in my favorite color, flat black. Now let's put it together. Here's the mounting bracket that came with the lamp. And I've placed those locking nuts so that these bolts won't turn once the lamp has been attached. Now we have to put the lamp back together. It's pretty easy to do. There's only two, two nuts that hold the LED part of the lamp to the base assembly. We run the wires through my new mount and finish by installing the two cap nuts that came with the designer fountains lamp. And now we're good to go. I'm excited to get this designer's fountain lamp installed. So up on the ladder and into the rafters. We drill out some pilot holes for the one and a half inch 
long galvanized screws that I have. Tighten, tighten them up and get ready for the next step, which is terminating the wires. This is relatively easy if you've done it before. It's black to black, white to white, and copper to copper. And the wire nuts that came with the designer fountain's lamp work just fine. Finally, you'll have to remove the clamp for the lens and place it back over the lip of the lens and then tighten it down with a screwdriver. You'll want to be careful here because they don't need to be so tight that uh, you you would damage the, um, the sconce. So just get them snug. I'm glad to be done with this part of the installation. Since I own a Android phone, I went out to the Google Play Store to download the Wiz app. This was easy and straightforward, and the Wiz app began to download immediately. Next I opened the app. And of course you get the terms of use boilerplate. I decided to accept the default name for the designer's fountain lamp. And I chose bar as the room type. No particular reason, it was just there. Okay, so now we have to give the Wiz app some permissions. Turn on the Bluetooth, I'm not sure why. And we've got to hook up to the router. The Wiz app will ask you to power off your light and then power it back on. And then it begins to search for the lamp's radio signal. And I had an almost immediate failure. It searches once again. Due to the lamp's high location directly beneath the metal roof and the foil-backed insulation, it was not going to connect it became obvious that I was going to have to have a Wi-Fi range extender if I was going to make this lamp work. I ordered a TP-Link RE220. After installing the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender, it's time to try connecting once again with the Wiz app. And we go through the old power off the lamp routine. Searching, searching, searching. Voila. This time we get a different result and we are actually connected. I'm using the Wiz app to control my designer's fountain wall lantern. I've doubled the speed of the video to save time. Here I'm adjusting the intensity of the cozy shade. Now let's change the shade to fireplace. Number three next to the fireplace setting indicates how many shades the lamp will change. Next let's try the party setting. As you can see it has four different shades that it will switch between. Again, you can see that you can adjust the speed of the changes as well as the intensity of the light's brightness by simply moving the controls. So far, I think the party setting is my favorite. Let's try, oh, Christmas. Sure looks Christmassy to me. Well, 
Time to go to bed, so we'll try bedtime. Good night, everyone. This concludes my review of the Designer's Fountain Smart LED Outdoor Wall Lantern Scouts. I hope you found this review helpful, and thank you for watching.